We've decided we don't have room anymore for all of his tools and this mattress in the V-Birth. Plus we'll be able to get rid of this, not get rid of it, but remove it from here, store it somewhere, and he'll be able to access this so much better. So out with the old mattress, which are easily replaceable. If somebody ever wishes to trade that back, this back to a bedroom. But with two extra births, plus the V-Birth twin, this really isn't necessary. And uh, the tools are more necessary than an extra place for people to sleep. Plus we have the cockpit and giant couches. I mean, we have so much room to sleep on this boat. So it'd be good to get rid of this mattress once and for all. It's something we've been talking about actually since we bought the boat, so. Anyway, we're finally gonna do it. Done. Okay, now time for yoga. It's painting day. This is like the step, that and the through holes that tells us that we're almost ready to splash. So, yay. It's painting day. Okay, so what's the plan? All right, well, so uh, Poncho is painting the pats on the other side of the hull over to starboard, so we're gonna go ahead and paint the port side. We'll do at least one coat. We'll start at the, at the stern, come this way. Brent and Emily gave us a little bit of their bottom paint that's red. We'll use that first. Maybe take the red and do just, you know, right in there, a foot, a foot right there where all that blue is, cover up all that blue. Okay. Thanks Gary and Ina for the moon suit. Maybe shouldn't have done yoga today. This is exhausting work. Howdy, howdy. Hello. How's it going? So, I'm so excited. <laughs> no. I mean, it's so much work, but it's so awesome. It's like instant gratification. That's For sweet. sure. Looks good. Smells great. Oh, it's like a smell. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. Roses. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. oh, I'm so excited though. It's just one step closer. Oh. I didn't show us where you're at. You're starting to see me. Oh. And then we all get to sail together. Woohoo! We're not leaving until you guys come with us, so. Uh -huh. It's taking us four gallons to do one coat around this whole boat. We bought five. I thought we were gonna be able to get two coats out of it, but we're not. So one coat around the whole boat, and then we'll have one gallon left over uh, to maybe do the water line, and then also. Uh, under the blocks that are holding up the boat when we're in the sling. So, oh well, we didn't sand down all the other uh, bladed paint that was left on there. There's a lot of leftover paint, so we should be okay. So Pancho got the last coat of blue. It's so shiny and beautiful. I'm so excited. No more white scratches. But you can see where he's gonna sand to blend it. And obviously that's just dust, but you will see right here where it's pretty bad. 
And same thing here. The whole side of this boat will be buffed out on Monday. It's gonna look beautiful. It's almost done. Look at the difference. It's so nice. This is my wife pretending to finish up the bottom job. <laughs> that Gary has been doing. Yeah, everyone else painted most of it. But look at her finish the job. Yeah. Look at her taking All advantage the right here. and the credit. All this hard work that I've done all day long. She's lucky she's cute. <laughs> Good job, honey bunny. Just like that, she's painted. There it is. She's all painted. So exciting. What's dirty? Do I have dirt on my face? Yeah, very dirty boy. This will fix it. <laughs> Thanks, darling. You're welcome, love. Uh, that's a working man beer right there. You deserve it. Oh, it's cold too. Woo! Good thing we installed a beer fridge. Yep. And now for the best part of painting a boat, removing the tape. Oh, oh epic fail. Yeah. She's pretty, babe. 140 feet of masking tape right there. <laughs> oh, awesome. Good job. We have invited Gary and Ina over for dinner tonight. They have done so much for us. So let's make dinner. This meal is uh, not exactly healthy, but it is so delicious. There's a creamy bacon mushroom pasta, and I'm gonna serve it with steamed broccoli. I even made some sourdough bread, so we'll have fresh sourdough bread along with our steamed broccoli and pasta. Yum. He said you wouldn't be able to. Right now it says. Oh my oh, gosh. 0.19. This is 0.19. Yeah. Tied. Okay. We're doing uh, final preparations right now, filling up our all of our propane tanks. This place here is about two and a half dollars a gallon for uh, propane. It's a little ways out of town, but great service. It feels really good to be doing these final prep, knowing that just less than a week away we'll be splashing. It has been a lot of physical labor, but also so much fun. We have gotten to know so many people in the yard. Everybody is just fantastic. We've had great time. It's been a good experience. I do, I highly recommend Cabrillas boat yard uh, best DIY yard honestly just as long as you go in expecting to do everything yourself or with the help of some other boaters it's gonna be a great a great place to be with your boat just do it it's awesome and fun so here's the old masthead light it has a deck light shining straight down and this is the uh, masthead light that you turn on when you're uh, motoring at night and this bracket here was up there halfway up the mast to protect it. Well, the spinnaker halyard would come along here. And since there's a flat spot on it, if it came this way, it would try to rip this off. Well, sure enough, it did on this end here. The little bracket is broken off. This isn't solid. This is just a flimsy little lightweight tube. And so we went up top, or actually Gary did, and uh, to get it down. It's brand new and it worked and it fit. It's amazing. So Gary on Divergent has been fabricating a stainless steel uh, protection uh, cage for our masthead light. We want to make sure we close it all up because we don't want any salt water to be able to get in behind the weld. Okay. Because it'll corrode. Okay. Yeah, she's beautiful. Nice, Gary. Thank you. You're welcome. And he used that as a pattern to make this one here. Solid stainless steel. That's going to last a long time and what he's done here is make it an angle so when the halyard comes along here it will never catch on this so it's an awesome design 
super sturdy, and he's gonna reinstall that today. Wow. How you doing, hon? I don't know. Aww. We'll find out when we get in the water. <laughs> Looks nice. Looks really nice. Cheers to having our bottom painted and the through holes in. We can officially splash if we wanted. We could. That's really very exciting. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Make, basically, that was the reason we came here. Right. Is to swap out the valves and the through holes. And yeah. uh, we finally got that done in week five. Five weeks. Here's to you, my love, and all your hard work. Thank you. I learned a lot too, tell you what. <laughs> My poor husband has, he's been working on my, installing our new dishwasher for hours now. Um, getting the power all put together and now putting the plumbing together. Anyway, I am praying that this dishwasher works because, well, our last one bit the dust in the San Felipe power surging marina. So it'd be nice to have a dishwasher again. Oh, clean dishes. Woohoo! Good job, babe. I have a dishwasher again. Try and get that gold fixed up as well. So it's kind of a thing before you splash, you're supposed to put your name up on the wall. Check out all these votes. Isn't that neat? So I've made a little decal from our my cricket machine and we're about ready to put our we're about ready to put our boat up. Yeah, maybe a little higher. Woohoo! So excited! We're part of it! Very cool. During our last trip across the border, we found all of this firewood. Talk about a fun time with a uh, bonfire at the boatyard. That'll be fun. Today was my last morning of yoga with these amazing women that I had met in this yard. They literally, oh my gosh, they made my life on this yard possible. Heading over to Divergent. We're gonna help them splash this morning. So exciting, we're so excited for them. We're so excited for us. We just can't wait to get on the water. Yeah, our day comes tomorrow. We're gonna help them out on deck and then uh, join them for a little festivities this evening yeah. on board. I'm so excited. I'm, look, there's Blue Pearl. She's getting her finishing touches of polishing and she's gonna be beautiful and shiny and like new again. And oh, six weeks literally went by in a breeze. I blinked and it was gone. This is just so exciting. Oh my gosh. They did it, you guys. They splashed. They're in the water. It feels awesome. I'm so excited for them. I, literally, I got, I got goosebumps, and it's not even our boat going in. Whew! It was emotional. It's a lot of work being on the hard, but this has been one of the most incredible experiences. Meeting these people on, just, it's just been an honor to be here, and I'm, I actually got a bit emotional and teary-eyed thinking that tomorrow's our last day and we're leaving and. I'm not going to see a lot of these people again. Hola. Thanks for having us over. Yeah, thank you. Do you hear that? 
that is the sound of the lift coming our way. Today is the day, you guys. I'm so excited. I can't, I can't believe it. I can hardly believe it's been six weeks and we are about to splash. How are you feeling right this good. minute? It's a good day. It's gonna be a good day today. Yeah. It's pretty cool. They're protecting our new paint and the new polish job that we had them do for us. So they're they uh, took a, one of our old sheets and cut it up so we could cover up the slings. Even though they also just replaced the plastic on these, so they're nice and clean. But that's that's nice touch. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good. 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 We're splashing! I have goosebumps and chills. This is amazing. Here's my Elena. Filling up with the uh, in the filters. Okay. Screens, I guess they are. Oops. Oh, we got a poquito leak. There go. Good. Lights Looks are good. good. Looking good. Okay, looking good. It was slowly filling, but I didn't give it enough time. Oh, there we go. I hear it now. I don't see it yet, but I... Come on, baby. This is not normal. No, I thought it was going to go. Color cover hot. It's just warm, not hot at all. I can barely tell if it's a little warmer. So I got a hose here I could just undo. This is so disappointing. It's supposed to be this grand escape. <laughs> and instead we're stuck in slings. Okay, there's your air. You got water flowing now. Oh, thank God. Okay, so hopefully, Lord willing, that is the issue. Okay, try again. Also, I can start it, honey. Perfect. Again. Go ahead. Okay. Come on, bring us some more. Just some more water. Yeah, that was good. That was good right, that water. That was pretty encouraging. That's water. Water. Well, that was pressure too. 
might have got it. Hold on. No. Oh, that is such a good sound. What fun would it be without a little drum? Right? Okay. You guys did it! Woohoo! Oh my gosh, you guys. Yay! <laughs> There's not enough thanks in the world to give you. You're Thank very you. welcome. I'm looking forward to tonight though. I'm looking forward to relaxing with the people on our boat. Because we're back in the water, guys. We're in the water! We're all in the water! So what was it? This was six weeks ago we met you in this exact same yes. spot. Yeah. Somebody said blue pearl for a turn around. I did. Yeah. And it was, yeah. But what is, it, what is that term? Yeah, this is, this the is the beginning of a beautiful, beautiful relationship. relationship. That's Casablanca. Saying goodbye to the truck and trailer. Just dropped off our trailer at Anchor Storage. 1,500 pesos to store our truck and our trailer there every month. It'd be very handy to have this when we get off our boat. We're gonna make our last provisions and then we're gonna have a little party tonight. We invited quite a few people, so hopefully everybody shows up. It'd be really fun to pack the house. And then Divergent and Blue Pearl are off tomorrow. Very, very exciting. Cheers, babe. Cheers. Six weeks and one day since we came in here. Got a lot done. Learned a lot. Worked a lot. Made played a lot. Had a lot of great friends, actually. A lot of great people. Ahoy! Welcome aboard! been some really hard times working on this boat but the people you guys are phenomenal that everyone was always willing whoever needed help everyone else was always there and that just blew my mind Gary we would not be in the water today if it wasn't for you no, I'm not kidding though the work that you put in on this boat to help my husband and so I didn't have to do I don't know anything that he needed and the two of you like I don't know well was, I told you when you guys amazing. came in don't worry about it we're gonna take care it, of it it was amazing you did <laughs> and you did and well, we, yeah, well, we really up. appreciate Angel you. back there. We, really did. we appreciate Ina just letting him come over. He was like, I better tell my wife where I'm at. I'm like, I got it. I'll message her. Yeah, <laughs> we have to tell your husband. She was like, Yeah, again. always messaging me. I know. We have well, I would calling. get up in the morning and I go, I would tell Ina, I said, Can I go play with Chris? <laughs> <laughs> And I loved it. It was so helpful for us. my nose just now. I got teary-eyed when we were, when actually when we were on Divergent yesterday, helping them splash. It was like, I can't believe we're leaving this wonderful place. It, it feels like we're leaving family. I feel like we're leaving family. I cannot wait to see all of you out there. I can't, I can't wait to catch up. Yeah, it's gonna be epic. I'm so excited to be on the water and I can't wait to go adventure. But like I, somebody said, every day is an adventure, whether you're on the hard or you're here in the water, every day is an adventure. And I've just been so, I'm so grateful to have experienced this adventure with all of you and everyone that was on this boat today. And you guys, I will never forget this. It's mutual. Well, I want to follow up with my earlier thought and that was that you know, we had a really long list of things to do and we got it half of that list done and yep. only because Gary helped me. Yes. I, mean, I had never changed that through the whole of my life. Um, that was terrifying. You know, that's, that was me neither, but it was fun to learn together. <laughs> 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 Cheers, guys. Cheers.
Last night in Puerto Penasco. Yes, we splashed. We're all in the water. Woohoo! Tomorrow we go.